Hi, my name is Adam and I'm going to clear up some confusion between the relighting process here at Terrapin. So a lot of people have been confused what the difference between relighting and subleasing an apartment is. Here at Terrapin Row, we only relight our rooms. For example, let's say Testudo is going to be relighting for me. First, me and Testudo would need to submit a relighting packet. This is available at the leasing office. Along with the packet, I'll need to submit a relighting fee of $250 by check or money order. After we turn this in, Terrapin Row will email a link to Testudo where the, he'll need to submit an online application. Now during this paperwork process, I'll need to completely move out of my unit and turn in my keys at the leasing office. I need to allow, allow a five day business gap between when I move out and Testudo moves in. This is so Terrapin Row can clean and walk the unit and assess it for any damages. If there needs to be an expedited process, we'll need to give Terrapin Row at least one full business day. This will still be so that Terrapin Row can assess any damages in the unit, uh, but it means that they will not be cleaning in between. Now, that being said, Tasuda will need to sign an as-is agreement that acknowledges that the room will not be cleaned in between. Now, there, will be, there could potentially be a $100 cleaning fee if the room is not in move-in condition. Only after this paperwork is submitted and Tetsudo has picked up his keys and paid his first full month's rent will I, Adam, be completely off this lease. It's only at this point that I will no longer be liable for utilities, rent, or any other future damages to the unit. Now there is one more important thing. Let's say I'm relating to a person of the opposite gender. So let's say I'm relating to Beyonce. So if I'm relating to Beyonce, my current roommates, whether they're living in College Park over the summer or not, and Beyonce will need to sign a co-ed living agreement. This acknowledges that everyone is okay with living with someone of the opposite gender. I hope this clears up any confusion, and as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to come by our leasing office or give us a call. Our phone number is 301-363-4005. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.